It's a pleasure and thank you for joining us once again. My name is Fred Makubia and of course definitely will be making sense of the impact of the Uganda Small Scale Industries Association. Definitely I must confess that without Uzia this program wouldn't be on air. But we are here of course to make sense of the Uganda industrialists in Uganda. That is because of Uzia. And this time around of course we'll be speaking to one of the ladies that Uzia has, has actually greatly impacted. And that is none other than Mrs. Tofas Oringo. She is the CEO of Divine Glory. Uh, what does Divine Glory mean? Of course, that and more stems our discussion. And of course, we are streaming live on Facebook and Twitter. Those are our Twitter handles. And then YouTube, definitely join us as we make sense of what Huzia has actually helped. Mrs. Um, Tofas Oringo, thank you for joining us. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. You're welcome. One would want to know, uh, what, what is Divine Glory first and foremost? Divine Glory is the Divine Glory flavored tea that is very good and is known all over the world. Divine Glory tea has avocado seeds, chia seeds, cinnamon, rosemary, ginger, and it is a very good tea that when you take, you take both in milk and black tea, it has helped very many people. People have come, people have gone, people have called, people have taken the Divine Glory Tea. So when you take the Divine Glory Tea, you really have no regret at all. It, it will first of all help you to detoxify. Some people eat and get very satisfied, that is the first thing. It is a detoxifier, it is a cleanser, it is a memory booster, it does all that one would wish to have, but it doesn't have the other, other other things that may one may think of because it is well well worked upon and it is tuned to the very best tea all over uganda i will say and all over the world of course definitely we'll be discussing that further why divine glory of all names you see every, every brand has its own name why divine glory this divine glory tea has a miraculous thing that it does in one's life so the first Tea that was taken, I did it myself and to my parents because I come from a home of tea. My parents are Reverend Canons and I live in the house of bishops. And even the Mufitis and the, 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 the fathers, like in Christ the King, All Saints Cathedral, Namirembe, so they like taking tea. So they first tested this tea and they said it was well. And everybody who took it loved it and said, wow, can I add more cup of tea? Can you add me more cup of tea? So whoever took, some people had some challenges in their body. They started testifying that what is that tea that you, uh, I took? I need the other tea. Said it is a divine glory tea. So it was called divine glory tea. Prayerfully and wonderfully made from a prudent, with a prudent hand from a prudent woman of God, because when we are focused in God, God gives that. So we prayed about this on the mountain, and that was way back 2018, early there, when we went with the, to visit Archbishop Orombi. He tasted this and said, wow, this is wonderful. We, went, we had gone to the prayer mountain in Igoli. So he took and it was wonderful and started taking the house of bishops and in all places and some packed it and went was that time the house of bishop had visited uganda and very many people took it and it went all over the world so i said glory to god so the divine glory remained divine glory tea so we decided and thought of what we could do i was advised by members of um, the house of bishops that have you registered it I see. Maybe, maybe before we get there, I know it is already registered. And of course, yes. ladies and gentlemen, those viewing us, the reason you see a smile on my face is when I encounter business, innovative, of course, people, I, it's the reason I have a reason to smile. If I say, or if one said you're a member of Uganda Small Scale Industries Association, would I be right or wrong? Very, very much so. You are very right. Okay. Please take us through the journey. Uh, I'm a member of you see so Uzia has really helped me it is a very wonderful organization that when i joined this Uzia, life changed i joined Uzia in 2019 when i was really looking for the mark i was just starting from the other side that 
A member told me to register. I registered with the U boss, then I registered with the UNBS. It is a personal thing. First of all, I started by personalizing it. So this is a personal, personalized uh, project that I started. First of all, I would have loved to have introduced myself first. I'm a teacher by profession who is retired to do this work. And as I came for certification, I got so demoralized when I walked, having moved for some time, then I was advised by a prudent woman who sent me to Uzia and I met an angel at Uzia. So Uzia really helped me and I made, I got the Q-mark. It is wonderful that when I got the Q-mark, everything became so new. It was as if I received the real divine glory in me. So the divine glory really helped and I moved on. We went and all where the obstacles were, like I could take the Divine Glory tea in supermarkets and everybody would say, there is no Q-mark, oh my God. I said, now how do I get it? I don't have enough money. So little did I know, God had prepared an angel. Uzia was there for me. So how much did it take you to acquire this Q-mark? From Buzia, whichever angle it is, because well, you, you know you know you're speak, you're speaking to a multitude of people. This fa at first it took some time because I did it alone. I was making it, trying to. I said I am going there by faith to do it alone. Indeed, I do. I did everything. Then when I came to, I until I got the hurdles that really it was kind of an obstacle i said now how am i going to go about it so while i was there down and feeling low uzia came in and indeed they took all the heavy loaded that the heavy luggage that i had and i was safe and set to go and i became good to go so apart from the q mark those joining us of course we are speaking to mrs tofas oringo she is a teacher by profession, but of course, on the other side of the coin, she's the proprietor, the founder, and the CEO. Call it the managing director of Divine Glory. Tea. Of course, we are still making sense of her journey in business, but most importantly, she is a member of the Uganda Small Scale Industry Association. So apart from acquiring the Q-Mark, I would want to know, or one would want to know, what else has Uzia helped you in your journey of business? In my journey of business, having acquired the UNBS, which is right here, I felt so good. They also registered, I became a member, full-time registered member of Usia. Having become a full-time member, we had, Usia has a duka. So we have Usia duka in Nakulabie. Things are getting on very well. And we even received calls. Yesterday I received a call. One had a problem with the legs. I'm a Guruga that was three weeks ago. Then, then after two days, the guy calls. Now I'm feeling well, I'm okay. Another one took poison and a friend just said, but there is divine clarity. I think it can help. I wasn't there, but I received the call. It helped. So the one who had taken poison, that, that's why I said it is a cleanser, it is a purifier, it is a detoxifier. Now I start to talk about that. Another thing. Having joined us here, everything is going on very well. I now go to the supermarket and then I am just given, it is a walkover, it is a breakthrough. So my things are in the supermarket. What do you mean that it is a walkover? Do, do, do you just simply dump your products there? So what exactly do you mean when you say When I say it is a walkover, every supermarket, most supermarkets ask for the Q-mark. And once you don't have a Q-mark these days, no way. You can't enter supermarkets. Maybe you enter through back door. How much did it, did it take you to acquire this Q-mark from the Uganda National Bureau of Standards? Well, if you can recall, I know it's, it's been a very long time. It has been somehow long, but it's roughly two million point something. But ever since when Uzia came in, they talked, we, we talked, and it was reduced. So there is some amount that has been reduced that those who are hearing me, indeed, Uzia is fighting a strong, a big battle. With the UNBS, they have reduced the prices. So you can apply and get your Q mark right now. So, so many of you Ugandans, I know you, you're out there 
and maybe you're operating illegally or maybe your products are actually rejected because you, you don't have a Q mark. I think Mrs. Tofa Sorino is a testimony that when your products are satisfied, of course your journey smoothly in business becomes very... We would want to know uh, of what advantages ever since you made your products legally known and acceptable. One would want to know, viewing us, that what are some of the advantages that you found having fulfilled the QMAC from Uganda National Bureau of Standards? There are quite many. I have VIPs taking that tea right now because everybody wants a certified things. Because there are very many black ma thing markets you know, down there. People sell uncertified things, but here everybody loves it. Secondly, the big supermarkets have opened for me. All the Kenjoy supermarkets, name it all, the, uh, the capital shoppers, they are all there. Go in Mukono, where can I say, name it all. And some people are flying out with it, so it is worldwide. Mm -hmm. Divine Glory is now worldwide, and everything is getting on well, just because of that wonderful angelic SMS, that you call it, Uzia, who has made everything perfect. Let's broaden the discussion now, Mrs. Tofas. You are a woman in business. Of course, most women have already given up in business. Would want to know what are some of, some of the challenges that women out there in business encounter on a daily basis? Well, first of all, there is courage, and then there's discouragement. But I always say the devil is the one. The, is the works the works of the devil is for discouragement. But most you, you want to say the two work together. There's encouragement and discouragement. discouragement and once you get up and you start, they say, ah, now you're also starting that, what are you going to get? And a mere woman, so some women get discouraged and then they go back, ah, I'm just a mere woman, I can't do anything. But the moment you get up, in our language we have a saying that once a mushroom gets up, even if come rain, come some sunshine, they move. Put it in your language because you said in your language. Obwal kuwok kilwor cheng. That means obol, obol is a mushroom. Mm. Cheng is the sunshine. So once obol comes out, it doesn't fear the rain or sunshine. So it moves. That is how a prudent woman of God should be. Divine glory made me proud. Having gone through with the Uziah people, everything became perfect. So the women down there don't get discouraged. Because discouragement is the work of the devil. But the moment you start, you have started something, get on and do it. Some women think they have no capital. But I, I will tell you that I just started with 50,000 from my account. And then I started, to, I bought the tea, I bought the tins, and then just in a small, small scale, just doesn't, doesn't. So when I tried it, people loved it and it has multiplied. But, but you see, every person seems to say he started with 50,000. Just of recent, we were speaking to one of the lady, Benedicto, here in Chinawataka. She said the same story. If you speak to Prudence Ukunika, she will tell you the same story. Speak to Rena, she will tell you the same story. Everybody seems to be saying they started with 25,000. That seems to be a fallacy uh, to most of the industrialists. And that is exactly what it is. Because some people may think that that money is little. That I can only buy, it, is only, can make, it can only make hair, or I buy my clothes. But the moment you start with it, when you love it with love, it will get. What can you do with 50,000 in the present situation? With 50,000? In fact, you start a small business, it will go. But if you sit and eat, you can eat it just within one day, it is gone. It just goes on within a second, I'm telling you. So there's nothing. So what we, one has to do, think of a business and think of what you love most. Then you will get on in a successful way. So how big is the business now in terms of capital uh, and stock, if you are to measure? Well, we are running into millions, I will say, because I have... I have different different types of products that I'm now that has been brought by Divine Glory. So we have the agape paste. This paste is mixture of OD, that is genus paste, 
and it is also mixed with the same same paste then we also have uh, mukene and mukene is very good and so nutritious to a mother to a father like you my dear son you may have a taste of this and then you just say wow this will bring appetite to your to the children even those with the, the they always say that when you have measles you take mukene don't mind about the child will, will hate that and then will just say, I'm not eating. But the moment you put this in porridge, you put in the banana, the ripe bananas, you put it in porridge, you put it in, in the sauce, the child will just eat. Not, and he eats unknowingly and enjoying, but it is working in the body. So it is good for every one of us. That is the, the agape paste. So we also have different other, other different types of things. We also have the plain rosemary, we have the plain chia seeds. I've not carried it here because it was bulky. So next time you're going to have all that and you'll see it all. Well, one would want to know, uh, because there are people viewing us and they're saying, how does this old woman handle her books of records? How do you handle your books of records? Well, we have a receipt of everything that we buy. Where we go in the outside market where they, they don't supply receipts, we write, we keep a record of what we've bought, how much we've bought, which place is that, and then how, what profit, what, is the, the, what was the capital, and what is the profit that we gain out of it. And of what importance is this? Is Most people do it as a, way of, as a formality. The best thing for a business to run successfully is record keeping in all the business so that you know how did I perform last year and how was it this year? Am I progressing or I am ba going backward instead or deteriorating? So that's the best way. Once you keep a record, that is fine. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, those joining us, uh, we are still making sense of the impact of Uganda Small Scale Industries Association. And I must confess that without Uzia, definitely wouldn't have this program running. But we are here. We of course empowered and powered by the Uganda Small Scale Industries Association. And of course those of you who would want to be part and parcel of this association, uh, of course their location is very, very clear. That is Uma Shop Grounds and of course they will be able to help you. Mrs. Tofas, of course time seems not to be our friend. We want to know, uh, are there any regrets you've had in business that you think any business person out there may pay keen attention to it? Well, number one, you may go to the supermarket. You take then, they say, this is a new product. We are taking on consignment. So consignment becomes consignment, consignment. To, to, you go today, you find when one has been taken. Yet you have, the business has to run. So those are some of the challenges that we get. But if we are given, you go to the supermarket, okay. There are those that give, you go, you take your products, then you are given. The, the whole lump sum, you are paid, and then you walk away. The business runs off perfectly. Then there are others, you may go, and then some people may call. Others also come and borrow, take on credit, and they don't pay. So those things. So what do you do with those who take and don't pay? Do you forgive them? You do pray for divine intervention, like your business does well, suggest? In some, you ask. For but divine intervention. You ask for, the, 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 my mine is, ask three times. The moment they fail to pay, you leave. Because we serve the God of Trinity. You leave. And we've left, and that's how we've, we've gone. And we excel. God blesses more. Like it says, it is said in the Holy Book, Blessed is the hand that giveth, than the, worth, the one that taketh. So we take that as so how, how have you been able to penetrate through the different markets and supermarkets to see to it that maybe you are everywhere? Well, I have, I have employed, um, I've just started employing some people because at first I would go alone. So having had the COVID people, I was just about to tell you that COVID brought more problems also. It made us retired. So there, is, there, there was no progress at all. There was no way that we could go. But still, because I had started with many people and VIPs mostly, having known that they, they, the, the Q-Mark is there, which had been provided by Uzia, 
everything became a success. They could send and I could send the border border people. So the border border guys could take and that's how I survived and life went on very well. As we plan to, to sign out, what are some of the key business principles that you would want to live with the people? Those key factors that you think, if you put them into consideration, you run your business successfully. Well, always have record keeping. Everything will be fine. And in the supermarkets, when you get there, I was talking about the URA also, I was yet to go, but now time is running out. The URA. Uganda Revenue Authority. Uganda Revenue Authority. Our products are normally cut. The moment you go, I, w I felt bad when I went to one of the supermarkets. The URA were there, and they were counting each and everything. So time out. <laughs> Eh? So, that's how it, it discourages and it demoralizes, but you still you have to get on and move. So, once you have the zeal, m know that I have to maintain and I have to go and succeed. So, that is what I would encourage most people, that we must always be courageous, be strong, and move forward so that we kick poverty out of Uganda. That is what the president normally talks about the small scale industries. He encouraged us to bring up, to come up, and that's how we have come up. And I encourage even those who are down, down there, who are still uh, fearing to come up, that please come up and then let's go on. We shall succeed a little continue. The Lord being our guide. I want to give you an opportunity to finally tell the public what your products are in case they wanted them, where can they find them in less than a minute. You have an opportunity to speak to the public. Yeah, Divine Glory Tea is here for you. This is the best tea that is taken today. The tea that you take both in milk and black tea. You take and it, you have, it is a cleanser, it's a memory booster, it is a detoxifier, it does everything in your, our body. You'll never go back, go to visit the clinic that you are going for. Uh, uh, painkiller. Everything is here. The children with the flu, it is here. Because the ingredients which is here has avocado seeds, chia seeds, cinnamon, rosemary, ginger, name it all. And some other three things which are imported. We bring them in Uganda here and we mix. That one is a secret that we don't have to tell it out. Then we also have some preservative that it remains and stays until the, the day of expiry. All the expiry dates are there, the telephone numbers are there, and whoever would like to find us, we started, uh, our factory started at Intinda Minister's Village, then we shifted. Now we just have like a small shop place there, but now we are located in Weogerere, uh, near UNBS. That's where we are located. So whoever wants to find us, you can find us, you can give us a call, or you can just drive there, or in all the supermarkets and shops around. We have penetrated everywhere and we are there because of Yusia. So everything is perfect. Join Yusia, never give up. Yusia is here to help you. Never slug behind. The moment you come in, find we are just stationed here at Lugogo. And the moment you reach here, Umasho ground, look for Yusia offices. You'll be very successful and you'll be helped. They have the, that angel hand of handling every human being. When I talk about the angels, the angels are there for you to receive you. Tofa Soringo, the managing director of Divine Glory, thank you so much for not just giving us your time but also being generous with your knowledge. And I hope that you'll be able to climb heights. And ladies and gentlemen, she read her contacts. My telephone number is Smart24 TV, the only business channel here in the heart of Kampala, in the heart of Uganda. And of course, our vision is to drive business from morning up to morning, from January up to December. Of course, the festive seasons are drawing near. Uzia wants to wish you the happiest festive season. Stay calm. My name is Fred Makubia. And